India has long been an exporter of talent to tech companies. But it is India that's now undergoing its own revolution. For people who use Google Wallet, the experience works. We need to bring Android and Chrome to every screen that matters for users, which is why we focused on phone, wearables, car, television, laptops, and even your workplace. Google Teams have lots of autonomy, including from people like me. If I'm about to forget my kid's birthday, I want the phone to scream at me until I do something about it. There's been a big evolution since the days of personal computing. People had a concept of one computing device per family or maybe per person. We've clearly evolved to computing devices becoming more personal. There are many powerful men and women in mobile. I'm fortunate to be part of that group. But by no means do I think I'm the most powerful person. Open platforms historically undergo a lot of scrutiny, but there are a lot of advantages to having an open source platform from a security standpoint. Google search was important, one of the most important applications ever on the web. People accessed everything through a browser, and for us it was important for making sure we had an option there. If we are building something that users need, and there is a lot of value we are driving, I think how search manifests in iOS will work out just fine. You're going to have hundreds of millions of users on Chrome, spanning mobile, tablets, and desktops. That is one unfragmented base. That uniformity is probably better than most of the issues across browsers. There are many powerful men and women in mobile. I'm fortunate to be part of that group. By no means do I think I'm the most powerful person. I think it is going to be hard for individual OEMs to create a platform on top of which people will write content and services and which users will transact. A lot of credit goes to Google TV for helping that process get started and helping to build something like Chromecast. Nest is one vertical implementation of a set of smart products for the home. But we will support other people's smart products for the home. We ship a new version of Google Play services every six weeks. Typically, 90% of users are on the new version of that. There are 7 billion people in the world. And I think phones are the first time most people will have access to a modern computing device. With Android, we want to enable that for people. I have a secret project which adds 4 hours every day to the 24 hours we have. There's a bit of time travel involved. Should kids check phones at dinner? I don't know. To me, that's a parenting choice. What strikes me every single time is that the aspirations of Indians are unique and unparalleled. They're very demanding, regardless of background. We do have business relationships, we do licensing relationships, and people want to use Google services on top of Android. But in theory, you can use Android without Google. Good companies do whatever it takes to make sure apps are great and don't hesitate to add features. Things like WhatsApp are a great example of success that others have had on Android, which we see as welcome innovation on the platform. Obviously, you will always see more malware targeting Android because Android is used more than any smartphone platform by a pretty substantial difference. Android phones in China are more Android open source rather than Android in the way we are all used to here. So a lot of phones don't have Google Play, etc. My dad and mom did what a lot of parents did at the time. They sacrificed a lot of their life and used a lot of their disposable income to make sure their children were educated. The core of what Google is about is bringing information to people. One of the great things about an open system like Android is it addresses all ends of the spectrum. Getting great low-cost computing devices at scale to the developing world is especially meaningful to me. Android was built to be very, very secure. 
We run Android in a very open way and work closely with all partners. We work with Samsung, and I spend a lot of time with them. But we've always supported other partners. The right moral compass is trying hard to think about what customers want. Android is one of the most open systems I've ever seen. What makes Android great is it's literally designed from the ground up to be customized in a very powerful way. Android was intended to be very customizable. And we welcome innovations. When you run a platform on scale, you have to make sure it's truly open. That way, not only do you do well, so do others. Users are trying to discover apps, we are trying to improve the app discovery process, and developers are trying to reach users. If you step back, it's a problem we solved with search and ads in search. Google is all about information. So the notion of using and presenting information in the right point at the right time to users is what, in essence, describes Google. For me, it matters that we drive technology as an equalizing force, as an enabler for everyone around the world. Which is why I do want Google to see, push, and invest more in making sure computing is more accessible, connectivity is more accessible. Computing is evolving beyond phones, and people are using it in context across many scenarios, be it in their television, be it in their car, be it something they wear on their wrist or even something much more immersive. If you step back and take a holistic look, I think any reasonable person would say Android is innovating at a pretty fast pace and getting it to users. The impact of giving someone a connected smartphone is no different from giving them a real computer. I look at how my kids learn and how different it is from how I learned because the impact of these things is just so huge. Sometimes I think we don't fully internalize what it is to get the power of knowledge in everyone's hand. It's a world of multiple screens, smart displays, with tons of low-cost computing, with big sensors built into devices. At Google, we ask how to bring together something seamless and beautiful and intuitive across all these screens. We're excited by the success of WhatsApp on top of Android. Amazon brings services like Kindle on top of Android. It's a competitive world and a lot more complex than people realize. When you run a platform on scale, you have to make sure it's truly open. That way, not only do you do well, so do others. Which quotation do you like the most? Don't forget to subscribe.